Robin Bay, Herpok here, and welcome back to another episode of Race the Ramen, the show where I tend to review something unscripted in the amount of time it takes to boil an instant ramen. Check out my new ramen soup suit. I'm the Ramen Don. And today we're going to be taking a look at Sonic the Hedgehog the Movie, showing now in theaters. I'd like to make it clear right now that though this is a film intended for children, this content in this video is not intended for children, so let's get out. Alright. Start the timer right now. Okay, so Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. It's finally here after months of feverish murmuring after that shameful, disgusting display that was the first trailer with nightmarish, uh, like, furry suit, little person man Sonic. And after uh, the wonderful animation studio did all that crunch time and got laid off before Christmas... Was all of this heartache and wasted time worth it in the end? Well, I don't think any of that stuff should have happened in the first place. I guess the answer to that is no, but hey, the movie's pretty alright. If you are not a fan of this franchise, I don't know how much you're going to get out of it personally. But as a fan, I found it uh, quite a bit of fun. Uh, I can acknowledge that it's not an exceptionally well-made film. I'd call it good. Definitely not great. Uh, at least not, like, whole throughout. There are parts of it I think are great. There are scenes in this movie I would genuinely call really well executed, not just enjoyable, but, like, really well done. And it's interesting. It, there's, like, there's flex throughout this movie of what feels like genuine hard work and passion for the character uh, was put into it, and the rest of it was just kind of, like, space filler, Hollywood executive, safe, generic, cliche family movie stuff. Like... All the set pieces are pretty much enjoyable uh, from beginning to start. It was in this road trip movie we have Sonic in because that's the Hollywood formula he has to work in. All those set piece parts are pretty enjoyable and I don't think that the interactions with characters and the slower parts of the human non-Sonic and non-Eggman characters are bad or anything. But um, you know, they're just not terribly exciting compared to the rest of the stuff. Seeing certain aspects of the game brought to life so successfully, especially I have to bring this up. The first two minutes, the opening, like the Sega logo and the per completely CG animated backstory stuff with Sonic, that's perfect. That could have been an entirely different movie itself, but touches like that make me believe that there were people involved in this project who really cared. And for what it's worth, it's one of the best video game movies I've ever seen. I've seen some pretty terrible ones. Like, I'm, I'm kind of fascinated by it. I just bought the Dead Rising movie. I'm going to see how that turns out. But anyway, it it comes down to this, basically. They got Sonic's character down pretty well. Um, James Marsden, or Charles, I don't remember who actually played him. New guy, does good with Sonic, and he does things you'd expect him to do. It's fun if you're a fan, it's passable at most, if you're not a fan. And I had essentially the same reaction I did with Detective Pikachu, in that... It's not amazing, but for video game movies, it's a step in the right direction for this medium being taken seriously and enjoyable by a larger public and seeing our favorite characters brought to the screen. As a Sonic fan, I enjoy it a lot. If you're not a Sonic fan, give it a shot anyway. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. Just maybe? There. <laughs> that was closer to the time of the match. So, hopefully that gave you a decent impression of what I liked about it. Um, it's an interesting thing. I'm actually not sure if I mentioned the score specifically during this review. I'm so out of practice from not making videos. Maybe I did. I don't know. Whatever. Um, I'm going to give Sonic the Hedgehog um, for non-fans. I'm going to be a little generous and give it a 6 for non-fans of this franchise. But if you are a fan of this franchise, I'd say it's a decent 7. I enjoyed it enough to see it twice. And, um, I'm actually excited to see if we get sequels with more game stuff in it after the post credit scene sequel hook of the post credits. And this, who knows? I enjoyed it. You'll enjoy it if you like Sonic, maybe. This is a step in the right direction. I'm glad that this came out the way it did. Good job, everyone. Oh, and possibly one more thing. Hey, hey, you. What? Hey, mysterious apparition. Can I tell them how you reacted when you saw the movie? Sure. Dude, my, my brother, he, the first two minutes he cried. Tears of joy. Tears of joy, man. For real. Like, maybe that'll happen with you. 
But just know that at least one person cried tears of joy because of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. movie. And I might cry again, too, if The Rock really is in the sequel, like they said he might be. Hey guys, thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you liked it, why not give it a like or comment down below letting me know what you thought about it. If you like this video, then I have more like it on my channel as well as other cool surprises you might enjoy. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter to see what I'm up to, projects I might be working on, stuff like that, you can find me at Perpok Party Bus. Thank you all so much for watching the video, more like it and others are on the way, and I hope you all have a good night, be safe, take care. Thanks guys.